The Tesla strategy uh, has been the same from the beginning, which is to start out initially with a car that was expensive but low volume. It's, it's the only car we could have really made, um, and that was the, the Roadster sports car. And then step two was a car that was sort of mid-price, mid-volume, and that's the Model S. And Model X also fits into that category. Uh, and then our third generation car would be uh, low price, high volume. Um, and um, the, the reason for that strategy is that in order to make any technology mass market, it takes time. You've got to go through major design iterations. And you think of like the first cell phones that existed, like the one in, in, in the first Wall Street movie where the guy's walking down the beach with a giant brick on his, you know, of a, of a cell phone. And those things were really expensive and had, you know, didn't have much functionality. But, but now, we, now anyone can afford a cell phone that's basically a supercomputer. Um, so uh, you've got to go through major design iterations to achieve that. And that's what we're trying to get there as quickly as possible with three major iterations. Um, you also need economies of scale. So you've got to um, have much bigger factories. In order to afford those bigger factories, uh, you've, you've got to raise a ton of money. And, you've got, and, and people will only give you money if, they've, if you've shown some prior success. Otherwise, they, like, they don't believe you. Take yeah. I just think that, um, that it's important that we accelerate the advent of sustainable transport, um, that, we, you know, that electric cars happen sooner than they would otherwise occur. And, um, and, and, and I think the fundamental good of Tesla will, will, will be measured by to what degree did we accelerate the advent of electric vehicles. Um, and I'm hopeful that in the end, people might say, well, probably by 10 years. You know, that would be a really great success, but maybe at least by five.